Family tradition. It doesn't matter whether you want to follow it or escape it, it's going to find you. So the best you can really do is own it and make it yours. Even if that tradition involves you transforming into a powerful red beast that lets you defend a nation or defend your family from entire armies. Disney duels are back and we're starting off strong with the American Dragon Jake Long versus Maylin Lee from Turning Red. According to the Discord poll, Maylin Lee doesn't stand a chance. It's pretty much as big of a stomp as the previous episode. But Mei Mei is pretty new, so maybe everyone just hasn't gotten a chance to absorb what she can do yet. Let's see if she's got any surprises. But first, a prediction from J Diamond Sonic. Come on, this is an easy Jake Long win. He has more experience with his transformation with a dragon, whereas Malin only had a few chances experiencing with her panda. Jig has more fighting experience, where Malin only had barely any experience with her fighting skills whatsoever. Not to mention, Jake is faster, being able to fly across an entire island in mere seconds. Malin hasn't even displayed that much speed feats. Not to mention, Malin can only control her panda through her emotions, and that isn't an outlier either, as seen from her mom here and Malin herself here. So all in all, Jake basically stomps. Strength, speed, durability, like fighting skills, transformation training, like he takes it all. This is a massive stomp for Jake. Going into their arsenal and abilities, they're actually mostly pretty even. For example, Jake's dragon transformation allows him to have the ability to fly and shoot fire from various holes. Mei's red panda allows her to emulate flight by transforming and untransforming in the air, giving her sort of an infinite double jump. And although she can't breathe fire, she still has a ranged option of her own, in the form of an omnidirectional gust of wind that knocks opponents off their feet when she transforms. Both of these powerful beasts also have claws and super sharp teeth for scratching and biting opponents. Both have heightened senses for better hearing, sight, and smell. And both can even just partially transform for different purposes. For example, if Jake wants to use his dragon powers without getting caught. Or if Mei Mei just wants to chuck something really hard. So up until this point, they're pretty even in the arsenal and abilities category. Until Jake pulls ahead right at the end with his doppelganger technique, allowing him to clone himself. Though it does use a lot of energy. And if all else fails, he still has his martial arts to back him up. So Mei Mei may not be too far behind, but Jake still comes out ahead. Let's see what the YouTube comment predictions are thinking though. Speed-wise, Mei Lin Li is surprisingly quick on her feet. Not only is she able to cross entire cities in no time at all, but with her transformation, she can actually launch herself so fast it creates a shockwave at the speed of sound. Or launch objects so fast that they nearly ignite, approaching speeds of Mach 5. Moving on to Jake, he actually loses in the realm of travel speed. His fastest recorded speed in the show is only 180 miles per hour. And feet-wise, his most impressive showing was going to Greenland from New York and back in a single night. Which should roughly put him around 600 miles per hour just behind Mei's supersonic feats and even further behind her Mach 5 feet. However, Jake still has massive reaction speed superiority. He's able to scale to other magical creatures who can dodge lightning, and Jake himself can dodge lasers from the Huntsman's weapons. Which of course matches light speed, so Jake takes this category as well. While Mei is technically faster, Jake should be able to see her coming and prepare for it literally a million times over. In the realm of strength, Jake is no joke, able to burst through stone walls no problem, but his fire is something else. It can instantly melt steel, destroy houses, obliterate giant stone structures, and even completely vaporize a massive pillar of water. Now that last one doesn't sound too impressive, right? I mean, it's just water. But evaporating that much H2O for that long actually results in over 500 tons of TNT. Enough to do the same amount of damage to multiple city blocks. So now you may be thinking that this category is a stomp for Jake, right? Because nothing in Turning Red looks all that impressive. Oh wow, she can chuck a dodgeball at Mach 5, that's wall level. Oh wow, her shockwaves can clear out a room, small building level. Oh wow, her mom nearly destroyed half the temple, regular building level. And oh wow, Maylin Lee one-shot her gigantic mom, large building level. 
and at first glance, that appears to be it. Large building level is her peak, right? She one-shot her mom who's the size of a large building and could tear the roofs off gigantic stadiums. But I noticed something that everyone seems to have overlooked. After Maylin Lee one-shot her mom, a ritual needed to be performed to seal the Red Panda spirits. The energy required to do so being able to part clouds. Now cloud parting typically results in a minimum of one kiloton, enough to destroy a small town. However, this was the energy required to seal six panda spirits. No cloud parting occurred when Mei Li did the ritual on her own, so dividing that one kiloton by six, and we get 160 tons for each panda. So, she's still at least three times weaker than Jake, but it's nowhere near as bad as people assumed. Let's get Discord's thoughts though, as well as a video prediction from the soppiest crowd. Uh, Jake Long should stomp. He's bound to be faster, easily being a uh, dodging lasers, from what I know. And even if you don't believe in light speed, American Dragon, he's easily a lightning timer, blah, blah, blah. Mei Lin Lee doesn't really have anything. He's a much more skilled fighter. In terms of strength, you could argue that Mei wins. But here's the thing. Um... So, when she was pulling her mother in, like, the final scene of Turning Red or whatever it was, it was like... Shoot. It was like, um, like, she had help from, like, six or five other people pulling her. Plus, she's untrained with the panda, so she probably wasn't pulling that much weight. And it was mainly probably her aunts, I think it is, that were push pulling most of the weight. Anywho, Jake wins. And this final category is all Malin Lee's. Jake has a few notes, but they're bad news. Like his multiple weaknesses, for example, including Sphinx hair, or a weak spot behind his ear, or the fact that a dragon's belly is much weaker and softer than the rest of their body. And then there's the fact that Malin Lee has better control over her transformation. Despite Jake having more experience, he still had issues every now and then, even in his later journeys. He still makes the occasional mistake, and taking enough damage can revert him back to his base form. Meanwhile, Mei Mei discovered how her transformation worked in a matter of hours, discovered how to get it under control in a matter of days, and completely mastered it within a matter of weeks. And she can't be forced back into her base form by raw damage alone, even when it's enough to knock the panda unconscious. However, despite all of these last minute advantages, surprising nobody, the winner is Jake Long. But surprising everybody, it wasn't nearly as much of a stomp as everyone thought it would be. Jake may have been ahead in just about every category, but Mei Mei was always close behind. Jake was powerful enough to unleash 500 tons. And Mei Lin Lee's Red Panda Spirit only required three times less energy to overpower. Mei Lin Lee was nearly able to match Jake's arsenal with simulated flight, partial transformation, and ranged attacks of her own. But with Jake's martial arts skills and his cloning technique, he'd be able to handle someone with all the rest of his powers. Jake has quite a handful of weaknesses that Mei Lin Lee does not, but thanks to his handful of experiences, he'd know to keep his weak spots protected and not let his guard down. And while Mei Mei actually outclasses Jake in travel speed, his vastly superior reflexes would help him keep up in other ways. But let me know what you guys think of this result, and thank you for predicting in this episode. Stick around for a minute and you'll see who's next, and be sure to predict the next fight with a comment down below, a comment in my Discord server, a vote in the Discord poll, or by making a video prediction. I think this is the most video predictions we've gotten so far. Let's keep it up. Now, for the next time, let's see. In episode 13, we got a bunch of overpowered anime dudes. And in episode 14 just now, we got a super cool dragon. How about we do a little mishmash now with two reincarnating heroes who have hearts of gold and ridiculously large arsenals. It's Spyro the Dragon versus Link from The Legend of Zelda.